is Indiana Jones liberal or conservative? The man who made archaeology, history, and fedoras look cool has been a fan favorite for decades. So what is the ideology behind the famous treasure hunter? Steven Spielberg and George Lucas were inspired from old western serials from the 1930s and 40s to create a character they believed would be better than James Bond. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a blasphemy. Harrison Ford assumed the role of Indiana Jones in the 1981 film Raiders of the Lost Ark and an icon was born. And it also gave way to the debate of which Harrison Ford character is better, Indy or Solo? Like Indiana. We're named the dog Indiana. The popularity of the character became so renowned that the AFI ranked Indiana Jones as the second best hero of all time. Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird was number one. Okay, yeah, sure. You know what a compromise is? After the success of the first film, a few sequels were made over the years with fantastic results, but also kind of not. <laughs> Either way, Indiana Jones is easily one of the most popular characters to ever grace the screen. It's easy to see that movie characters can leave a lasting impression with us and can even inspire us to think and behave just like them. And since Indiana Jones is one of the most popular characters ever, I think it's important if we find out if the character is more ideologically liberal or conservative. Oh, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. To assess a character's ideology, we're going to need to focus on three key elements, which is personality, motive, and arc. Now before we jump in, I'm going to emphasize that I'm strictly focusing on the ideology of being liberal or conservative, so politics is a no-go for me. It's just a poor choice to go with politics over ideology, and we all know what happens when you choose poorly. You chose... poorly. Personality. It's easy to point out that Indiana Jones is a combination of old action heroes from the past due to his masculine persona because when things get rough, he likes to crack a whip. He exudes a confidence that makes him a brave leader and along with that comes a level of charm that the leading ladies can't seem to resist. Uh, how dare you kiss me? Ugh, don't you just hate it when your girl does that? His status as an eligible bachelor makes him a man who likes to go it alone, but he definitely shows that he cares about those closest in his life. But Indy's first love is history, which makes him a very passionate archaeologist and professor, who apparently teaches really crazy students. Excuse me, Dr. Jones? Yes? Um. I just had a question on Hargrove's normative culture model. On the opposite side of all this love, it seems like the thing he detests most in his life is snakes? I hate snakes, Shock! I hate them! We're all afraid of something, but I don't understand how snakes are more terrifying than this. Nope. With all this excitement in his life, Indy definitely appears to be a courageous man's man, but lacks the conventional lifestyle when it comes to women and being domesticated, so I'm gonna say his personality is a little bit of both. Motive. As mentioned before, Indy loves history, and as an archaeologist and professor, he can't help but run into those perilous situations to uncover some history. Well, if history was this exciting, I would have paid a lot more attention in school. You call this archaeology? Most of the time, Indy is pitted against an evil group of tyrants, ranging from the Nazis and Soviets to whoever these weirdos are. But these people are not necessarily Indy's main focus of concern. What's interesting about Indy's motive is that although he's desperately trying to find these ancient artifacts before his enemies do, he wants very little to do with them other than just put them in a museum. That belongs in a museum! Now, some of the films focus on his motive to establish a better relationship with family members and loved ones, but these are treated more as minor subplots in most of the films. And sometimes they're very powerful and effective. Indiana. Let it go. But then there's also moments like this. His name is Henry. Henry, good name. He's your son. Why the hell didn't you make him finish school? Indy's motivation to uncover and protect important parts of not just natural history, but his own personal history, makes him out to be kind of a purist. So I'm gonna say that his motivation is more conservative. Arc. To date, there are four Indiana Jones films all directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Harrison Ford. But the series timeline is a little wonky because the second one is technically a prequel to the first one, and the third one introduces him as a kid, and... 
I guess Spielberg isn't always a genius. <laughs> Son of a... In most of the films, Indy is usually recruited by a third party to seek out an ancient artifact, and along the way, he falls for a woman before ultimately finding the treasure. Now, the subplots are actually what give Indy his arc, because his growth and change as a character is encompassed in his relationships with his father, his son, his friends, and whoever the leading lady is this time around. Now, we might get another film, but until then, Indiana's story is concluded when he gets married to Marion and Ravenwood and presumably lives happily ever after with their son. Now, if I'm being fair, that counts as some sort of arc, but there's nothing about Indy that dramatically changes throughout the series. Except maybe his age. What are you, like 80? So, to call it even, I'm going to say that his arc is actually a little bit of both. It's a close call with a final score of two to three, but I'm gonna say that Indiana Jones edges out as being more conservative. The man does love history, and once you add that with a touch of old school masculinity, I'm pretty convinced this ideology does suit him. I'm also pretty convinced that Indy throws the hardest sounding punches of anyone ever. <laughs> This is just my opinion, so if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this.